Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Inkboy, and welcome back to Tim Tim. So, just to update you on what I have been doing, I have been leveling up my Tim Tim. Um, not that it was like super needed, but I figured after we died the last episode, it wouldn't be a bad idea. So, uh, I got scale up to level 12, which I actually really like using scale so I've swapped scale out um, like swap crystal out to use scale as my secondary Tim Tim uh, send out first just because crystal seems to be a little squishy I don't know if I'm just imagining that or if that's the actual case actually we can see here scale has uh, looks like 43 overall HP and crystal has 47 so that is actually not true however i don't know scale just i just seem to do better with scale based off of what i was doing so um the other thing is is that our i think it was called a faro a faro or something like that evolved which i didn't think they would evolve um because uh <laughs> all of our, our other um Tim Tims were a lower level or a higher level actually I should say uh, and they hadn't evolved yet but this one evolves at level 10 apparently um, so yeah we got some new moves with them so they're on the squad we've seen the ferric before um, and I think in that episode I I uh, may have mentioned it looked like it was an evolved version of the little burb but um, yeah, the Kaka and the Teru, I didn't mess with at all, simply because, like, I don't know, maybe they're super powerful once you get them leveled up and evolved or something along those lines, but they're just kind of weak sauce, in my opinion, um, right now. So, I figured these four should be enough to get us at least to the town, and then we'll see what's going on once we get to the town. Here we go again. Hopefully we can beat her this time. More of a fighter. Let's do it. Going down this time. Okay, so let's do... Uh, let's do Windblade. And we'll do sand splatter. Not super effective. I would love to get an electric uh, Pokemon, or not Pokemon, <laughs> Tim Tim. Um, let's do shrill voice, and then let's do sand splatter. Oh my goodness, they are picking on my scale. Okay. Got one of them down. Go ahead and do that. And Pickle just leveled up, which is pretty cool. Alright, we are going to do the Feather Gatling on that. Not sure if it's effective or not, but we'll see. Oh, that was very effective. <laughs> Um, and then we're about to take the Genki out. Pretty easy. Alright. And then if we can Feather Gatling, uh, we actually we can't. So let's go over. We'll use uh, the Scales like big move here, which is Held Anger. And this move is actually pretty epic for it to be a low level move that you acquire. So, let's check it out. I love the animations of this. And we one-shot it with that. It's pretty dope. Pretty cool. And we almost earned back uh, the money we lost from losing the first time around. And just to be on the safe side, I'm going to go ahead and heal uh, Pickle up here. Because we can't afford it. We have seven bombs. Um, and stuff, so, yeah. We have another, 
a tamer here again like in the previous one i'm probably just gonna skip through this stuff i mean i'm sure some of these conversations are like super interesting um but i just want to fight and get through them if you want to see these conversations uh i'd highly recommend picking this game up actually uh, because it's really good, especially if you like Pokemon. If you like Pokemon, you're gonna like this game. It's the same concept, but they have definitely improved upon the formula quite a bit. Um, both of these things are kind of scary, uh, especially the squid, the questionable squid, got even more questionable. And then the Akuma is cute, but... I know they're evolved form of that other thing probably so um we're just gonna do that and then we're just gonna do that and hope for the best because they're actually that was very rude actually um very very rude i don't appreciate how tough the questionable looking squid thing is um, I really don't appreciate that you are about to knock poor Pickle out. Um, and we'll just do Sand Splatter on the Ukuma. Hope for the best. I'm not sure if that is actually gonna... Oh my goodness. Okay, that was not effective at all. And Scale just got taken out, the poor thing. That's okay. Um, we will send out, uh, we'll send out Crystal. <laughs> Hopefully Crystal, uh, you know. That's good to go. We'll do Crystal Dust on the freaking squid thing. Okay, that seems to be pretty effective. We just took out the Akuma. Oh my goodness, Pickle is is holding on here. Crystal just leveled up. Um, let's try this and this, and hopefully this will get us somewhere. I think it will. Yeah, we're we got this. We barely got it, but we got it. Oh no, Pickle! Oh dear, Pickle just knocked out and fighting so hard um, a little concerning are we like okay so I feel like I should probably head back to town and just heal up uh, interest. I wonder if, like, they're, like, a quest or something, because there's an exclamation point. We'll check that out when we head back this way. After healing up our little critters, because, um, those two fights were really tough, and they... Uh, knocked two of our really good ones out, so we're gonna have to definitely get them some healing. We don't have revives, and we're so close that it wouldn't really make sense for me to use such a valuable resource as a revive anyways. Alright, good to go. Head back. Just ran into a little, little Tim Tim, the Tateru. And we will just, I can't remember if like, this is actually powerful against it, but. Oh yeah, okay, that was easy. Easy experience. Oh, also I checked this area out over here, 
Um, and there's nothing over there. It's just grass that you can run through and try to capture Tim Tims or train up if you like. Alright, so actually, yeah. A sore loser. Okay. Uh, so there is an exclamation point, like right here. But. As you can see. Can't really get to it. Um, yeah, no. Alright, I was hoping there would be like a little side quest there, but. Yeah. Let's, for funsies, let's just take a look at the map. And we are here. It looks like left is something. <laughs> and then right uh, is something as well. So let's go left and just see what this little building thing is over here. We have some... We got some fragments, silicon uh, fragment, uh, bits and pieces of silicon or silicone, whatever you, however you want to pronounce it, and high demand in Zipanku, Zipanku, <laughs> uh, can be sold at a good price. Okay. Uh, we need all the money we can get this early on in the game. Tiny crystal. Okay. Uh, Scintillating does sparkly sparkly can be sold at a good price. If you look in the background there, you can actually see tamers running around down there and stuff, which is super cool. That you can, like, that's cool that they, uh, you know, it's not just like blurred out and just the stationary background. You can actually see people running around down there in real time. Cool little detail. Um, so we have some. We actually need these guys um, for uh, please don't one shot it. Okay, it didn't. For a quest, so Tim Tim avoids the next offensive attack. Um. Let's see if we can capture one. Actually, we want to capture both of them. Because we need one for the quest and then we need one just in our... Uh... Uh, like, uh, collection. <laughs> uh, let's send it to the Tim deck. And then this one... We will capture it as well. we'll scratch it. Can't capture it, but we should be able to capture it. We got it in the orange. Oh, it broke free. Heck. Okay. Alright. Now we should definitely be able to capture... Uh, I'm... The heck? Oh wow. Okay. Now listen, you little thing. Like, I can't attack you again because it'll kill you. Okay, we got it. That one was <laughs> pretty, uh... Pretty... pretty hard to capture, but we got it. So... Since we did capture it, let's uh, head back and complete that side quest. Yeah. Oh heck, we gotta capture this thing too. Um, wind burst. Please don't one-shot it. And then, just for funsies, let's try a... Oh. Um... I didn't know I was gonna do that. 
Okay, so it didn't one-shot it or anything crazy. Um, that's really rude. It did that, though. Do another wind burst. Um, and we'll just... Take it very carefully. Uh, wind burst. And we'll wait out again, because the wind burst should get it down enough to where... Um... We should be able to capture it, hopefully. And I would actually like to put this one on team. Is it Electric Tim Tim? And that's one of my favorite types of little monsters that you can capture. Not excuse you. Got it. All right, we got a Genki. Send it to the Tim deck. All right. And, uh, yeah, we go this way. This way. What adventure this has been so far. Got, well, I was gonna say we just gotta get through here. Um, but we definitely have a little helio to uh, get through first. And we should be able to just hopefully take it out. Yeah. Okay, now, first and foremost, Let's get in here and heal up everybody. And then gonna move uh, the pig <laughs> in here. Um, two of them. I'll also move. Well, we'll, we'll come back for Genki, because I don't want to replace um, the other ones I have. Yep, here's your Piggy Pick. Or Pidgey Pick, however you uh. <laughs> uh, it likes you? <laughs> this is amazing, look what I have, Dad. Hey! Ram, what's your name? Thank you very much. One day I will have my own rule. Wait. You mean you're not gonna actually take it? So no. Um okay. Well squad. Uh Do I, uh, okay, um, yes, yes, <laughs> we don't need that one, uh, but we are going to move this guy over here, and I'll probably train these two up off camera, um, between the now and the next episode but we do have an adventure to go on hopefully make it to the next town pretty cool we caught two new Tim Tims in this episode though I'm really excited to see what I can do with the Genki because of the type of Tim Tim it is Okay, then if we go over here, this is Malice Shite, Malice a uh, fine furniture from the Dan Danny's Denny's Dan Inn. <laughs> Goodness gracious, artisans. Um, it's boarded off though. Very interesting. Okay. 
So obviously we can't go there right now, but it's cool that there is a furniture store. Oh, we got two scales. Probably should have picked up some more Tim cards, but... You know. Oh, it didn't one-shot it. That's fine. We'll just take it out. Okay, that was rude. Uh, do that. And this should take them both out. Yep. Knock that one out, and then this one... Should... Oh no, Pickle, don't damage yourself. Well, I mean, it's kind of my fault for... Wow, that was rude. Oh, scale leveled up. Let's go ahead and just take this scale out. Alright. Okay, so we did that. And we are now off to the next... Oops. Our next battle. Alright, yep. I'll fight you both. I'm afraid. Just don't have a ton of uh, Tim Tims, please. <laughs> okay. Okay, they each have two. Looks like they have uh, two additional ones after we beat them. So, uh, we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna. Do that. I'm not sure if it is very okay. Effective. It's not. We'll use shrill voice, and then we will do tell strike off of uh, Paharic. We actually took Paharic down. Oh. Yeah, we can definitely take the Kaku out pretty easily. Um, Windburst. Let's do that. And then the Scratch is enough to take out the little Loali. We one shot of the Kaku, which is pretty neat. You're just going to take Loali out. And I think they have uh, one more throw out. Yep, and they got Pukey. Uh, we'll have Pickle Rest, and then we'll hopefully one shot Pukey with this held anger move. Um, it's pretty epic. One of my favorite moves so far that I've experienced. And we did. We uh, one-shotted <laughs> Yuki. And th this is why I love uh, Scale so much so far, because it has that move, which is pretty dope. Alright. Let's go ahead and just... Make sure Pickle is up to snuff here. Definitely don't want Pickle passing out. Whoa, that's a cool Tim Tim. It's probably the little monkey starter evolve, it would look like. And we got a Swally, uh, which should be pretty easy to take out. I'm assuming Swally is pretty cool once you get it evolved, but just in its starter state there, it's not very impressive. And we just one-shotted the poor thing. <laughs> okay, looks like there's another tamer that way. Let's take a look here. We, we just do a, a circle. I think we just did a, Yeah, we just did a circle. Alrighty then, um, how do we do this? I don't know. Um, 
Back down here we go. Wait, hold on. Did I just turn myself around? I think I turned myself around. I'm not sure what happened. Yeah, I definitely turned myself around. Okay. Well, oh, this must be um, the side quest I couldn't find earlier. What brings you here? Just passing through. On your way to Arisola, probably. Carry on then, my business isn't all that interesting for you. Excuse me. Uh, breath- I picked the views that time. Breathtaking, aren't they? Sometimes I stay here for hours and wonder if this is how high aboveers look down on us. How small and insignificant we must look from here. Anyway, I'm interested in changes of perspective. This little high angle view we have here is just a taste of what it might be like to look down from high above. Of course, I'm not crazy enough to plan anything regarding high above. Don't worry. I just want to see how we could understand their perspective. Suppose we could see our little Den Denise um, from above the clouds. So, of course, I've thought of hiring an airship to take pictures. That would be way too expensive. And I'm just a gifted amateur intell with intellectual curiosity. But you, you could help. How? You're a tamer, aren't you? We could use a properly trained flying Tim Tim. We would need a Tim Tim strong enough to carry a camera and well trained to get us exactly the shots we want. Do you think you can help me? I can give you a little reward for your trouble. Sure. Uh, my young assistant, uh, let's do this. Let me take a look at your Tempedia. Maybe this one. No, better this one. Yes, this one. Bring me this one. Uh... A Pajaro might be able to carry a camera high enough to get pictures, but I don't think it's intelligent enough to understand complex direction. A Pidgey Pick? Are you kidding? This serious endeavor. <laughs> okay. A Barnshee. Yes, that's what we need. Uh, a strong but intelligent. We need it to follow instructions with complete accuracy. Just fly high. Not just fly high. Get me a Barnshee. Okay, I can do that. Where I come across the barn she that is. Do I even know what that is yet? Alright, we got another another battle to do. And they threw out the ninja turtle duck. The only have. It is, but it's a rather high level one, so... Wow, very rude. Alright, Wind Burst. And Tail Strike. Alright, we got it down. Pretty cool. I want to get a hat like her though. That's a pretty cool hat. <laughs> and did we make it? We made it to Arisola, everybody. How cool. Alright, well, um,. I am going to probably do some training up on our new little friends. Um, I'll explore this place and in the next episode I'll give you a tour of what's here and what our next uh, our next little adventure is here. Looks like we gotta go to the dojo. Um, that's probably gonna be like a gym battle I would assume but we don't know this is its own game so it could be something completely different. But until then, uh, thank you for watching, and if you like this series, definitely give me a subscribe and a like on the video if you uh, feel like it. Uh, otherwise, have a wonderful day, and I'll catch you in the next video.